so I have an important friend to help me. T-Pain is here to do recon with me. Joining John for recon is Grammy award-winning artist T-Pain. With over 15 years in the music industry, he has a history of investing in unique startups around the country. T-Pain possesses a sixth sense to help unearth the problems haunting Sacktown. So look at this, this is Old Town Sacramento. About 3.9 million tourists come here, spend almost $4 billion a year. Oh, wow. The bar we're going to is called Sacktown. This is it, man. You're looking at it. So this bar was opened by Chris three years ago. OK. I love you guys like a third cousin. He opens up the sports bar. They now have about $300,000 into it. Guy's losing eight grand a month. And he has enough money to make it about two months. So here's what I did. I got about 40 people. Mm. Just standing around a corner. Okay. We're gonna put on these hats. Oh, we're going in spy style. We're gonna walk in that line, incognito. Yeah. And let's experience this place from the inside. All right, cool, cool. I'm following you. John and I are gonna do recon together. I think it's gonna be great. I have no fears, except for, you know, raw food. Not real good with raw food. Not looking forward to that part. But let's do it. Just, get, just go in? Like nothing ever happens. Oh my God. Come on in. Kind of just got uh, crowded. <laughs> Welcome to our very quiet bar. Thank you. Yeah. We'll be right with you guys. Big place. It is huge. Sacktown, a 9,600 square foot space, is divided into two large upstairs rooms. One used as a main dining room. The other holding a large bar with three wells, 40 taps, and tabletop seating. Below the main level is the kitchen, haunted by the spirits of old Sacramento. You know what's interesting? This is old historic Sacramento. Right. This is sort of an historic looking building. Absolutely. Look at all this sports memorabilia. Sports yeah. bar is the most popular concept in America. Right. There's right. thousands of them in That's every city. Yeah. So if this is a tourist neighborhood, and if you came here with your family, you'd want to do stuff that was indigenous to here, right? You're in a historic Absolutely. neighborhood. No question. Yeah, I want to see all Sacramento stuff. Hey, guys. What do you want to try, buddy? Want to try the wings? Sure. Definitely want to try the New York steak. A uh, French dip as well. Yeah. What's your favorite drink? I see the, the sneak pitch, and there's another one, Jolly Rancher, the, the popular one. Okay. Should we try one of each? See if we yeah, like him? I'm down with that. All right. Did you know that he came up here? Where? <laughs> he came with John Taffer. Uh, stop. He is. He's right there. I see him. Wait, my, my, wait, what? my, wait. Where's like, baby patty? <laughs> wait, did he leave her? Who wants to eat a sandwich like this? It's not melted for shit. Did you serve it? Ricardo brought it up to me. Like, I already knew no one wants to eat it. I don't want everybody so freaked out. Guys, no, they don't want to eat this. It's not melted enough. They need it melted. Let's make it again. Make a new one. It's bullshit, man. <laughs> All right? I'm pissed. Well, you seem flustered, but... It's not funny, bro. I'm very frustrated. When I partnered up with Chris, Crystal was the kitchen manager that Chris already had here in place. But she's not cutting it, man. It's a grill. She's something so simple, my kid can do it. All right, that's the New York steak. Oh, um, right. OK. And that's the French dip. That's very popular here. All right. We should probably toast before we eat this. Yeah. Because we may never live to Absolutely. toast again. It was good knowing you, man. <laughs> What's in this thing? <laughs> John, I can't lie, man. I think I'm drunk. Oh, my god. I was expecting a completely different taste, and it was just mostly alcohol. And at that point, I can be drunk really quickly. Does that look good to you? I think they could have brought in just a live cow and put it on the table, and I think it would have been about in the same area. Look at this taste. <laughs> mm. I don't recommend the food. You don't? You don't recommend the food. How come? What did you have? So it's sort of like this one. You got to Oh, come on, John. <laughs> I mean, look at this. This is not what a French dip is. Oh, you got to stop this. <laughs> ah. Got the wings here. Yeah, I want to tell you now, John. I'm serious about my wings. I'm very serious about my wings. If these wings are wrong, 
We may have to leave. <laughs> Let's see what you got, man. Let's see what you got. Man, I don't know how they're gonna spin that. The wings came undercooked. The skin was rubbery. It wasn't breaking off. It wasn't a pleasant thing to have in your hand. Can I ask yep. you a question? Sure. Is there a cook or a kitchen manager or something? I do, yeah. Let me take that to show then and... No, leave this here mm -hmm. and have him come up. Okay? Sure, I'll be right back. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be the better part. Ricardo. Yes, sir. A table's looking for you. What table? And it's that guy. The guy? That guy. How you doing? Not too bad. Would you want to eat that? No, sir. Would you want to eat that? No, sir. Why not? It doesn't look appealing. It doesn't look appetizing. Where's Chris, the owner? Is the owner here? Yes, he's here. This is not the experience I wanted John to have tonight. Dude, this is embarrassing. What? He's there, bro. Huh? He's sitting right there. Who is? John Taffer. Where? Are you serious, Chris? <laughs> really? Are you that movie? <laughs> oh, my god. Oh, crap. Here we go. My heart just kind of sank. It was literally just waiting for the explosion to go off. In the middle, bro. Oh, shit. Not good? Holy shit. I've been walking around all night, and I didn't see him. Welcome to our very quiet bar. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, crap. So clearly, my blinders are on, right? Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.